welcome to Garden Talk with Jason and Don. Tonight, this is very therapeutic for us. Part two. <laughs> This is just continuing. Uh, okay. All right. I think if it's just there, it'll probably get me. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't, who cares? Um, oh, we were talking about the therapeutic nature of that last rant. That <laughs> I just uh, a very truthful narration of what happened here last year. And I've never been able to make fun of that. Whereas I can tell a funny story. If you've watched any of my videos before this one, please do. <laughs> so you understand that uh, I, I can tell any story that's just a matter of how fucking tragic or horrific it is to be funny and keep the seriousness of it, keep a straight face, but make it be funny. <coughs> <coughs> but there's no way that I thought I would ever be able to do last year on August 20th when you were to kill Christopher and myself. And uh, so, yeah, I guess it was therapeutic. I thought about just deleting it. But I think Dr. Liz would be really pissed at me if we deleted it. And you were saying... That is part of your recovery of getting past the trauma. You know, if you could start to uh, yeah. put this, you know, accept this and put it behind you and see some comedy in it, it will help you to heal. And like I said, you know, comedy is made up from tragedies. Yeah. It's usually tra tra tragic events that are, you know, when it's right, a person can turn it into something hilarious. No, I wanted that. That's my prop. There we go. You're a prop man now. Right, that's probably good. Okay. Well, I just I our props. But yeah, these have been. These have been very therapeutic and just happened to be the other night on New Year's that we watched it for the first time on the iPad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first on my phone and then on the iPad that night. And I just can't keep thinking about these videos that Don and I have been making. And yeah, you know, just how therapeutic they are. <laughs> but my dad, <laughs> this is a segue into my dad. <laughs> my dad, which we didn't get to do the other night because we just burn out at three in the morning on New Year's <laughs> Eve or New Year's Day. We're like, done. <laughs> I was getting ready to see my dad. We did it the next night and then the, the pad died, the iPad died. So yeah. my dad. <coughs> Bless his heart, dad. Larry. <laughs> he's, well, he's your age. He's like 74. You're 74? I'll be yeah, 74. You, yeah, you say you were born in what year? 45. 45. I think he was born in 44. He's an old guy. So then. he's a year older. Any, any, anyway, any, anyway, very staunch Midwestern guy. <laughs> Meat and potatoes guy. And I, love, I love you, Dad. But <laughs> everybody's fair game with Jason's comedy, and I think that's what everybody's afraid of right now. <laughs> when when he, we were, he said, well, what about if you've been making these videos about... You know, you're, you're making fun of people in the building. You know, they're trying to get you evicted anyways, even though they haven't done it. Don't you think it's going to piss them off? And I said, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but but it's non-disputed facts. If they'd like to put out their statement, they're welcome to, like Scientology does with Leah Remini. I'd be happy to put their <laughs> statement on there. Also, I want to read it for them. This is how the community housing and burger management's illiterate response to... <laughs> <laughs> this crazy shit for eight and a half years yeah. eight and a half years almost um but um my dad no my my, my dad <laughs> this is <laughs> this is this is from new york with the blind chinese lady on new year's eve <laughs> <laughs> so i hope you you have to watch the blind chinese lady on new year's eve 20 2018 2019 to understand this, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that. Go back home, find out. But I'm gonna label it that the blind Chinese lady. No, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> no, she's gonna be. It's gonna be order number sixty nine B from broccoli. <laughs> that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> and that's gonna be. And that's gonna be. That's gonna be the. That's gonna be the link when you see it on there on the website. That's gonna be there. The B from broccoli number sixty nine. <laughs> and you'll when you click on it, you'll understand. But. I was trying to tell my dad, you have to watch this video. Anyways, you go, hello! <laughs> we, 
Hello. Hello. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I can't not tonight. That's that was Hello. That was like, see, but before you watch before you watch B from Broccoli number sixty nine. Uh, you need to watch the making of <laughs> the outtake. <laughs> you need what? <laughs> the outtake. You need to watch. Well, this is the before take. No, it's the, this is the making. What they call it an outtake. Is, yeah, behind it's, the scenes. Yeah. You, know, mm -hmm. you have to watch the behind the scenes of the little bit, the couple minutes that we recorded. And there's still some on your phone. We gotta don't forget, don't delete that. There's a little, we, there's a couple on your phone too. <laughs> I'm scared to put these on my computer without somebody being there because I'm afraid I'll be fucking obsessed watching myself. <laughs> And thinking, I got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got to call my old acting coach, Maria Gobetti, at the Victory Theater. Maria Gobetti and Tom Ormany. Maria, I quit your class in 80, 90, 90, 98 after five years with you, but I think about the class all the time. I mean, this is the kind of character that I wanted to do. Oh, 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 oh. this is important. This is important that Maria see this. And this is the clip that I'm going to tell her she has to see. Maria said to me when I was 23 years old and trying to play this mature dark character that the kind of work that I wanted to do I wouldn't be able to do until my mid 40s because I wouldn't I'd be older and I'd be able to pull it off because acting like this in my early 20s people just didn't they did they wanted just a cute little boy yeah and I was a sarcastic bitch but I didn't have a lot of the education and I was making cultural references on things I grew up with and they this is an older gay crowd, and they just didn't get none of Beverly Hills 90210 and Inspector Gadget jokes. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> so now that I'm older and I've watched more stuff, <laughs> um, I've lost the whole point. Well, you're talking about uh, your acting teacher. Oh, my acting you teacher. Maria, sure Maria Gobetti. Maria Gobetti. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so back then, I, I did a lot of dark, dark, dark shit that I wanted to do in her class. It just seemed like that, that, that was the stuff I had. But I, I took the characters really dark in the preparation. It was a Meisner technique. And that shit just stuck with me. And I repressed it for so long, I kind of became that character when I was using drugs. It was really fucking trippy to get away from that. I realized, no, this isn't real. This is, this is just this fantasy world that you got in your head to blind you from, oh shit, I'm homeless on the streets smoking, <laughs> smoking meth. Behind a dumpster <laughs> with some crack whore who's you know, passed out. Yeah, it's like no, 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 no. I took this character. I took this part a little too far. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sober now. Eight and a half years, almost eight and a half years. Hmm. Eight years in two months and a couple of days, a week. Uh, okay, now we have to get back to Larry. What? You have to get back to Larry. Back to the lair. And the conversation you had about the blind, <laughs> the blind. Asian oh. lady. Oh, well, we were, we were, okay, right, 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 thank you, thank you. You got to keep me on track. Keep me back yes. on that because we can talk about all that. Maria later. Anyways, thank you, Maria. <laughs> She's looking at me going, the hell? <laughs> but uh, I don't care. And I think that's what the great thing is. I just don't care. <laughs> um, these may just be better on audio without the visual. <laughs> Let's see. But they could be both. They could be. They, they could be, be iPod. iPod. You know, iTunes, iTunes. No, they call them iPod. Just a rant. No, my is, facial expressions are what are good on there. On here, right. we'll see what happens. My my friend Rick, my former brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, I guess, whatever, Rick, has offered to uh, maybe color correct one of them or some of them or whatever once I get them on the phone, these, these rants. But the, what we're going to do is, the first one we're going to release is one from New Year's. But my dad... So my, ah, damn it, I lost it. Well, it was the Asian lady one that you yeah, had need, the conversation I need, I need, about. I need, I need to go visit Angela Lansbury for a second. Yes. I just, I just need to recharge. See, this only, the charge only lasts so long, and then I can go visit Angela Lansbury, and that's a whole other story for another time. And if John Price is your watch is watching, which this is for John Price for Angela Lansbury. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.